Joining me is our Tuesday regular commentator, Nationals MP Matt Canavan, the former Resources Minister. Matt, let's start with that wreckage of Energy Minister Chris Bowen's net zero global warming schemes. What I don't understand is how that long list of failures now, growing longer by the month, aren't a national scandal and why he hasn't been sacked. Well, I think it is a national scandal, uh, Andrew. Obviously, uh, the government and uh, their support, or many supporters in the media, uh, uh, are engaged in a giant cover-up mission for the failures of Chris Bowen and, and Anthony Albanese's energy policy. But I think out there in the real world, as you saw from Matt Barry and, and many other people I speak to uh, uh, at the polls here in Queensland, uh, and our energy situation is a national disgrace. It's something that hits them every quarter uh, when your power bill turns up. And we all know uh, that the Prime Minister and Chris Bowen promised us that they would cut our power bills by $275 a year. Uh, that hasn't happened. They've gone up by almost double that on average. Many people, more than double uh, of that, have uh, their, incre their bills increased by. Uh, and there's no accountability here. So you're absolutely right. The heads should roll here because uh, these promises were made. They haven't been delivered. And it's an absolute wreckage right now. Uh, the, the energy sy system that uh, Chris Bowen is uh, presiding over is facing increasing shortages, uh, failures after failures of these grand schemes that they promised us. You mentioned a couple there. Yeah, to that hydrogen as well. Uh, we see Origin mm -hmm. jump out of hydrogen in the last few weeks and Woodside and even Twiggy Forest is calling... Uh, the, the, the alarm on the, on the myth, mythical nature of our hydrogen plans. And so something has to change here. The Prime Minister should change Energy Minister. That could be the least he would do to try and reset this country uh, and get back to a time when we used our natural resources to actually lower energy prices for Australians. Uh, I think that's absolutely correct. And look, I must do another list of uh, Chris Bowen's uh, failed projects because it's three or four times longer than we've managed to uh, You'll need the whole tonight. hour. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you joke, but it's true. You would need a whole hour. Um, just, the, just ephemeral. I look, the pictures are amazing. I just need to show this. Just how dodgy some of these uh, solar panels and wind farms are. You know, we actually had that. You know, that Hurricane Milton that hit Florida. Uh, mm -hmm. What was it, last week? They had a solar farm totally destroyed. Uh, that's how fragile these things are here today gone tomorrow uh, and you know that'll need replacing that uh, so that, that's more expense i mean matt canavan the whole solar project scheme in victoria i understand rooftop solar but these great farms taking up farming land etc cetera, etc cetera. that's part of the scheme that is not going to plan for chris bowen because the rollout for a start is way behind and the costs are way higher than they were assuming. Yeah, that, that destruction there, it's, it's uh, amazing footage, isn't it? But that destruction is a, is a small window into the, the irony at the heart of uh, this so-called transition. Uh, we are told we have to uh, stop using uh, these terrible things like coal and gas, which have powered our country for centuries now. Stop using those and install uh, solar and wind to, to respond to this thing called climate change, to respond to a change in the weather, uh, to respond to a situation which they claim will lead to more uh, things like cyclones and hurricanes in the Northern Hemisphere. Yet these very things we're installing are themselves weather dependent. If you're worried about the weather, if you're worried about the variability of the weather going forward and how we might have more storms or more droughts, why would you install a energy, an energy system that relies on the sun shining, uh, the wind blowing, <laughs> and, and in the case of pumped hydro, the, the clouds raining? Uh, you wouldn't do that. It, it makes no sense. So if you really care about this stuff, you would be going down something like nuclear energy, which is perfectly safe through, through storms and natural disasters like this. They're designed to withstand that, of course, uh, and, of course, has zero emission power. But, Andrew, the reason they don't support nuclear power actually belies the total uh, scam that this net zero climate change movement is. This is not about uh, uh, protecting the environment. It's not about changing the weather. It's making, about making a lot of money for people uh, who have invested a lot in these technologies 
and that's why they're so so vociferously uh, opposed to nuclear power, which would uh, undermine all of their investments and their dreams of becoming very, very rich on the back of high power prices in Australia. Uh, I think also nuclear stands for Western technology and capitalism, and they don't like that. They like the idea of uh, wind and solar and being closer to nature. But I tell you what, Matt, it has exposed, that footage I showed you, exposed one f fraud in what Chris Bones says. He said, oh, yes, but the wind doesn't send a bill. Guess what? It just did to the guys who ran that, <laughs> up, that show that's now totally yeah, destroyed. Yeah, tough for those people in Florida. <laughs> tough for those. Matt Canavan, we're out of time. Thank you so much for your time.